Today we discuss the PRS SE Zach Myers. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel below if you haven't already. Uh, so the PRS SE Zach Myers. If you're familiar with Zach Myers, you might know him from the band Shine Down, but he's done quite a bit of other stuff also. So I was really intrigued of why they came together to make this particular model, as I often am. So I watched some videos of him talking uh, about the idea, and uh, he was really humbled about it in the sense of, um, you know, I want to make a guitar that's very versatile. I don't know if people like or know who I am or care about my music. I don't want just that tone or that sound. I want to be a part of something that um, is really versatile. And this is actually the, the second model by Zach Myers, and I think they nailed it. Uh, I love this guitar. It's very versatile. It's extremely comfortable to play, and I've played just about every style that I can hack through. Um, I've been able to do on it, and so... Um, I, I love it. So let's just talk a little about uh, the specs a little bit. So it's a semi-hollow body, first of all, right? So your solid body is literally one thick piece of wood. Well, semi-hollow, this is solid right under where the humbuckers or the pickups are, and then the two wings here are hollow. So you can get a really acoustic-y, jazz boxy kind of tone, as well as dialing a lot of overdrive and getting a solid body sound as well. And it does have one F-hole. Not only just looks cool, but it does give a little bit more of that airiness also. So this is a mahogany back, and the, uh, the mahogany back, and it's actually a mahogany one-piece neck as well. And this is a flamed maple top veneer. So it's basically a cap, okay? So you, get, you can get the brightness and stuff that maple has, but you get the warmth from the mahogany and be able to blend in between those. The neck is satin, so no sticky, right, for when that glossy, you don't have to sand it down or anything. It's already ready. Uh, to go from that standpoint. It's a 24 and a half scale length, scale length being bridge to nut, right? So very comfortable length. It's 22 frets. And of course it's got two, uh, these are the PRS uh, 245S humbucker pickups, uh, very solid uh, humbuckers. And of course, pretty standard uh, setup from this standpoint. So on the down switch and your three-way switch here, you've got your treble or your bridge pickup. It has its own volume and tone. Uh, and then if you go all the way up, you get your bass pickup or your neck pickup, which has its own volume and tone. And then in the middle is both of those, and then you can blend. And so a lot of sh sound shaping that you can get here, uh, everything from a jazzy box tone to a heavy humbucker tone to a melt-your-face kind of a solo tone, it is all here. So this is a wide fat neck that's a 10-inch radius. So there's a lot of sustain, a lot of warm tones um, out of that, it is a rosewood uh, fretboard, and it's right in that middle for me. I like that nine and a half to a ten because single note as well as chord changes uh, seem to work really well on that. And that's why it's used um, so often. But it's it feels good. You can get thumb around or thumb behind pretty comfortably. So let's hear this thing. It's got like I said, it's just got great tones in it. So we're gonna hear it a couple different ways. We're gonna hear all the pickup um, selections, and we're gonna hear it with some overdrive, and we're just gonna see the real value of this thing. So we're going through a good old Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp Tone Master here, and we're just going direct out into an interface in a Studio One. So it's a, we have a very consistent, nice, clean signal. So you can really hear just the pickup switches and what, what they're going to do with the tonality here. So starting in the, uh, the up position here on the three-way switch, so this is the uh, neck pickup or the bass pickup. Great for rhythm, right? Great. So taking the middle position, we're now adding uh, the other pickup to it. And so now both tone knobs would still, you know, adjust its own pickup. So this is where a lot of guys will tend to sit and really kind of put some, uh, you know, if they want to scoop out some mids or whatever like that, because you got both pickups going. So we'll do that same riff here. So now our final position that we have here is the bridge pickup, your treble pickup. Uh, it's generally used for maybe a lot of your 
light, funky kind of guitar playing, real where you want it real percussive and real articulate. Also great for kind of uh, solos way high up because it's pulling out all those those treble and the high notes. Uh, so we'll play the same riff with that. Really a great, really bright, really attacky kind of a, a, a sound there. So now we're going to go through these same positions, and I'm actually going through a Strymon Riverside uh, Overdrive. is a fantastic overdrive pedal. Uh, it's a multi-stage, so there's a lot of different things here, but I'm just going to kind of play a guitar lick and go through those same three positions with some overdrive so you can hear the tonal differences there because this thing can scream. <laughs> So there was my neck pickup, so here's both. So now we're going to your neck pickup or your or your uh, bridge pickup or your treble pickup. Now you can really start getting some harmonics really come out if you want. So taking that same thing and hearing it from a chord standpoint, um, here is back to your, your rhythm pickup. So just huge humbucker sound that you're used to. Put a little bit bright into that, adding that other pickup, and then getting a real articulate when you take it to that. So I didn't even touch the EQ knobs, right? So a lot of great tonal stuff out of here. Even if I take it back down to clean, I will go into the middle pickup here, roll off a little bit of highs from the um, the uh, bridge pickup. You get a great jazz tone out of this thing. So it just continues to impress with a lot of things that it can do. So now we want to hear this thing in the mix. So I'm going to play with some backing tracks that I did in a few different styles in all three different positions, hear what this thing can do. All right, hit it, boys. So closing arguments, Your Honor. So I love the PRS SE series as it is. I, I own a 24 fret myself, um, but this thing is now officially on the top of my list, which is a problem. Um, and it's just so versatile and it's very light. It just feels so good. Uh, it's such a gorgeous looking guitar as it is, but I love that it's just got this adjustable stop bridge, you know, for you, when you're really just wanting to do a lot of your playing, you're not worried about doing any sort of a vibrato or anything like that. It's just, I think it would just be a workhorse in that sense for rhythm and, and for lead playing. Very comfortable, 22 frets. The neck feels really good. Um, and uh, it, the PRS neck system, the way they have wide, fat, and wide, thin, stuff, it's a little bit a little bit different to learn, but still very similar to your standard C's and D's in use. And so I feel like that this is just a really comfortable modern C, in a sense, with, with that 10-inch radius. So uh, it's a really killer guitar, so don't think, oh, the guy's from Shinedown, so I need to play hard rock on it. It's not true at all. Uh, I've... I've think you can get away great as you heard with country licks maybe some jazz stuff or some harder rock stuff whatever it can play and especially if you don't have a big huge arsenal of guitars man you, this really can cover a lot of those those tones in, in one thing so come down to tarpley um pick this beautiful blue guitar off the wall and play it for a little while and even not plugged in or find completely down 
that's just the shotgun mic that we have that's overhead. And it's really great to practice because you got that F hole and a little bit of acoustic sound to you. So on the couch, just practicing unplugged, you, you can even hear it more. So it's just kind of a win after win after win on this thing. So uh, I hope you uh, loved listening to this guitar as much as I loved playing it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So please hit like if you did and subscribe to our channel below if you have not already. And if you'd like to know as more videos hit, just turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.